Okay, so this is our Four Seasons Hive. Today is August the 14th, and the last time we were in this hive was when we put the colony in the left side, and that was on June 24th. We've been up in the mountains for the last uh, about three weeks and just came home yesterday. And there's no activity on the left side, and so we're thinking that these bees are gone. On the left side. The colony on the right side is very busy. So we're going into the box on the left side to see what's what over there. We've got ants over here, so I bet this in the hay over here is not good. If they've done anything at all in this colony, we don't know. So this is... See if I can get one broke loose here. Oh, there's actually bees right here, sir. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. So, there are a few bees in there. Okay. Actual, absolutely no stores. Okay. Let's keep going and see what we see. There's bees over here. There's a lot of dead bees in the bottom. I bet they robbed out. <laughs> we had filled this box up and just left it. Yeah, we put the colony in it, filled it up with frames, and left. <laughs> I said, I hope they do good. Well, mm. that didn't happen. Mm. Oh well. Still a few bees in here. There's no brood, no resources at all yeah. right there. Take this one on out too. Ugh. Nothing, yeah. nothing there. Oh, that's the still here. Well, that's interesting. Yep, she's got a yellow dot on you. Yep, well, see there her? she is. You want to hold that over there close to your camera? Yep, so there's our queen with the yellow dot walking around. So she's still here. You want to put it back in the box? Yeah. Hmm. There's absolutely nothing in these frames. So There's not any... No nectar, no, no pollen, brood, no, no brood. Hmm. I would say... There's no signs of being chewed out frames and stuff down here. Is that the frame with the queen? No. Okay, just make sure you don't lose her. So what are you thinking? We need to give them some food? Well, that bee right there had pollen on its legs. Did it? But there's no way these bees are going to make anything. They're just... She's not laying. You think she's not laying because we're in a dearth? She has never laid, evidently. If she laid, she quit laying. There is a mess of dead bees in here. Let's uh, get a queen to it. You got one in your pocket? I do.
and they don't look like they've been robbed out. The cells aren't chewed. No, she's on the next one. I can see her. She's on the next one. Vacuum. Use your camera and look down in here and take a picture. Let's just stop video in a minute and we're going to get a vacuum. And we're going to dead bees out of the bottom of this thing. And we're going to look at a few of them and see if we can figure out. What the deal is here. We'll be back in a minute. I don't want to lay them right over there. Okay, we're back. We uh, took the shot back and vacuumed out the dead bees out of the bottom. Shirley's going to show you a picture over here of what we pulled out of there. I'm thinking this queen never really started laying. We took them straight out of the swarm box, put them in here, marked the queen, and we left. There's no sign that she ever laid eggs in this thing. And I think after we moved them in, because there we were egg, in. there were there was brood, capped brood. In the swarm cells. I mean, in the swarm. Are you sure? When we moved them in, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there was brood and food. Really? Okay. Well, I, evidently she's quit laying for some strange reason, and there's no. I found one hive beetle, one small hive beetle in here. I've not seen any sign. And when they get robbed out, they come in and uh, you see the cone is kind of torn apart and there's usually wax cappings in the bottom and stuff like that. There's none of that. So I don't know what happened. So I'm going to open this, take this divider board and open it up and I'm going to look into the other side. But first I'm going to spray a little sugar water that's got a little anise on it on these existing bees over here. And I think if I do that, the other bees might accept them in. Which may be a, may be a bad thing. I don't know. But what I'm thinking might be good, so I'm going to try. So essentially, we're going to take the bees that are left on the left side, which is like a handful, and try to incorporate them into the hive on the right side. Right? Yeah. Because they seem to be doing well. They've got enough numbers to keep going on the right side. Uh, they're not sitting well on fire over here, but... There's more bees over on this side than the other side. And there's a little bit of cat bruise here. Okay. okay. A little bit of... And there's some larvae in there. I can see the larvae. Okay. You want to get your camera and take a picture right in here? You see the white lava. Uh, let me get 
see right down in there if you can see the barber down in the sails. And there's some over here. So there's a, there's a little bit of log in there on that, that sail. It's like getting into the middle of August here in central North Carolina. It has been, I would say, a bit of a dearth going on here. Oh, we have broke the ants loose. Mm. But you can see there's absolutely no nectar in there. Oh, they have no food either. Hmm. So we need to feed. I think we've got some um, frames of honey in the freezer. Let me go see what we got, see what we got in the freezer. Little, I mean, just a few cells of pollen right here. So they may have exhausted their resources. Okay. Because these bees were working their butt off when we left. They were flying in and out of here. Just super busy. Mm -hmm. And I'd say the dirt here is about wiping these girls out. I think it, that's what happened on the other side. Okay, I'm going to go check the freezer see if we've got some frames of honey. Okay, what I've done is I've sprayed all these bees over here with our mixture here. I sprayed the bees that were on the wall with this mixture. Uh, ain't put enough frames in here to get this past the center line for the ventilation. I've only seen about two, maybe. That might have been the third hive bee. I don't know if that one's going to it. That one's got the messy foam on it. Yeah, we'll do this one right here. That'll get us past the center ventilation. Put that right there in. These bees over here can go up under. Might be a little high. Especially the ones we know. And the ones with the starter strip. We gotta keep them somewhere. What we may do. We've got another hive over here. We think it's probably the same situation. One side doesn't appear to be doing anything. 
and if we find plenty of uh, resources, we may come over here and put a frame, still frame somewhere else and put it in here so that they'll have some nutrition. But we're going to lock her down for right now and go look at the other bees. If not, we'll put some, put a feeder in? I don't know. We'll figure out what we're going to do. Now i got to figure out what to do with this queen. I don't think she's any good. So we'll close this one up for now and we'll go over to our stumpy hive which may be in the same kind of situation. All right. We'll be back. All right, we're at our stumpy hive. Oh and my goodness. we seem to be in the same situation here that we were in the other beehive. Look at all the dead bees. Oh my goodness. On top. How did they get up there? They... I don't know. You know how they got up there? Don't know. Blow it. So this is another hive that we had two colonies in. The colony on the right had been put in earlier in the summer. The colony on the left, I believe, was the last swarm that we caught at uh, Ronnie and Judy's house. And it was like the middle of June when we caught that swarm and moved it in here the end of June. Yeah, this one and the last one we looked at were both kind of late swarms. Yeah, they were both swarms we caught in June. Well, late for this area. Yeah. Now, we caught some swarms late up in the mountains, but, you know, that, that up there's a month to six weeks behind. Temperature-wise. I see wax moth yeah, damage wax on this. Yeah. Oh yeah. This one got slime. Yeah. And you can see the um, cocoon there, and there's little track marks of slime through the comb. That's where the wax moths have been in there. So this one's been dead a while. Yeah. yeah. So this one doesn't have any bees in it. Yeah, and this one, I think we're gonna be able to tell that it was robbed out pretty good because there's tappings all down in the bottom. survive at least uh, the resources we used. Some pretty cone. Yeah. Yeah. Take a picture in here. It's not pretty. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is pretty disgusting. There's a uh, so this is like wax cappings and stuff like that. But there's going to be a gazillion uh, small high beetle larvae in there and all kind of nasty stuff. So we're going to have to clean that out and 
sanitize it somehow. Make sure we kill any kind of um, varmints that are still in there. Any eggs or larvae. But the upside is the colony on the right has been very busy. There's still a pretty good number of bees coming in and out of that side, so hopefully they're doing okay. Just from the amount of activity, it would appear that they are. I'm going to say that this one here uh, kind of died out, absconded, whatever. And when they did, they got robbed out and then the wax moths and the small hive beetles kind of took over. But that's kind of, you know, a chance you take when you take uh, late season swarms. You know, sometimes they're second, third, fourth swarms out of a big, strong colony, and they're just not as apt to uh, take off and do well. Yeah, that's not good stuff there. But luckily, I can vacuum all that out. You'll go uh, bring my torch. Up in the corners of these things, often you get uh, that's a wax moth cast cocoon right there. You can see that cocoon there, and there was uh, probably a Hard to operate with gloves. Yeah, there was a wax moth larvae in there. But I matched him. He's dead. So anytime I have any kind of issue, and even uh, I do it with all my swarm traps, when I clean them out to put them away, I take my torch and run around in the corners in case there's anything that's uh, got away from me that I can't see. Uh, just run around there and it'll singe and kill off anything if it's, you know, like I said, hit up in the corner or somewhere where I can't see. I don't do it long enough to catch the box on fire. But it is, it'll kill anything that sweeps by. I'll just take and run this down the corners. Did all my corners. Do one more pass around. Do the bottom.
Yeah, let's see how the neighbors are doing over here. Well, the neighbors had this propolized in pretty good, so they shouldn't have inherited any of the problems from over here. Let's do about three at a time and see if we can slide them. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, they still got right. resources. I honey. see honey. Put up here at the top. These girls seem to be doing pretty good. Well. These might need this is a strong colony. You don't want to kill off a strong colony trying to save a weak colony. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's a pretty heavy frame. Still got brood. Does have a little uh twin cell there and a little cell there in the middle. Of course, they build them all the time, so you don't know if they're just practicing or not, but we still got lots of brood there. So this is still a good active hive. I 
Okay, I'm gonna put these on back together. No, they they got room to build down. The, he's got plenty of room to lay. That board there, he's got screws in it at the bottom of it. Not had any brood in it, no, so the wax moles. Yeah, we'll just put these in here. I don't really have anywhere to store them good, so I'll just set them right there. Basically, we had a dead out over here. We cleaned that up. We looked at these. They've got uh, larvae over here. They had, well, I don't know if they had larvae. I didn't look that hard. They did have plenty of brood over here. So we cleaned this side up, put a couple of frames over here, stole a uh, resource frame, and we're gonna put that back into a uh, colony right quick. So come on along. Okay, we came back over to the Four Season Hive. We got bees pretty much on uh, four frames. There's a little bit over here on the fifth frame. Uh, there's just one or two out here. So I'm gonna set this frame here that we pulled from over at Stumpy. And it's pretty heavy. It's got a band of honey on this side and it's got a lot of nectar over here on this side. So, I'm going to put this frame over here and hope that these girls make it. You know, I don't know for sure that they will, but at least they got a fighting chance now. Uh, there should be uh, stuff blooming here pretty quick, maybe in the next two to three weeks. Uh, goldenrod is already blooming really great up in the mountains. Uh, maybe it'll start here before long and it'll give these girls some resources to make it on. We'll come back here. Uh, this is August, September, October. We'll come in here the end of October, November, and if they're doing great, we'll reduce them down for the winter. If they're not strong enough, we may combine them with another colony. So we'll see what happens in a couple months. So while we were all geared up with our bee suits on this morning, uh, checking the two hives that we knew we had problems with, we went ahead and took a quick peek at our other three hives here in Apex. We just did a real quick pop the lids, make sure that they um, hadn't run out of room and needed more frames. And uh, just judging from the uh, activity at the entrances, everybody was looking good. So that's that's. The end of our inspection for the middle of August, uh, we wrapped everything up and we're just leaving these girls be for a while. I think we'll go back in probably sometime in um, mid 
October, mid to late October, and hopefully we'll have a little bit of honey to harvest. We'll see. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys um, tuning in to our our beekeeping journey. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do that. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.